make a limeade. And we're gonna make a basil ginger limeade. This is a crowd pleaser, okay? Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our infusion and our infusion is with ginger and basil. So we can do um, two cups of water and I like to put in two tablespoons of fresh basil and one tablespoon of fresh ginger. So I put two cups of water, two tablespoons of the amazing fresh basil and one tablespoon of fresh ginger. You know how to do this. Now I've already done this and so I've got this really nice basil ginger infusion. It's been sitting all morning and it's, yeah, it's uh, two cups of water, two tablespoons of fresh basil, one tablespoon of fresh grated ginger. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this out. Okay, we're gonna strain it out and get all the basil and ginger out. Okay, so we've got that in there. And then I'm gonna make my limeade, lemonade limeade. You can do this with lemons too. Um, and again, the, the ginger and the basil are both really powerful carminatives. They're really cold and flu preventive. This um, basil is also an anti-inflammatory, so it's a great anti-inflammatory drink, and it's, uh, it's good. So I'm gonna put in, now the recipe I'm gonna use is two cups of the infusion. So my infusion is basil ginger. I'm gonna use two cups of that infusion, and then I'm gonna use a half a cup of lime juice and a half a cup of honey. All right, so I start with, to really make, you know, most lemonades are really sweet. I actually like this less sweet. I put in less honey when I'm making this for myself, but if you're gonna serve something that's called lemonade to people, it better be sweet or people are gonna be like, that's not lemonade. <laughs> lemonade is sweet, right? Um, and so that's why I put in a whole half a cup of, of the honey, you know? Um, so we're gonna put in, but I'm not gonna put, remember I'm not gonna put all of the honey, uh, all of the tea in at once. I'm gonna put just a little bit in and then get the honey mixed in. So we're gonna just put in, you know, a cup of the, the tea. And then I'm gonna put in my half a cup of honey. All right, and then I'm just gonna get that really mixed up. All right, so get that going. You could also, um, you know, put this in a jar and shake it up first. Now, this infusion has cooled down because it's been sitting all day. But, you know, usually if, you're, if you're making this, this infusion could be hot. And so if it's still warm, that is a good time to mix the honey in, is when your infusion is still warm. So you can let it sit, you know, I like to let it sit for, you know, definitely like a couple hours. Then you can kind of reheat it, strain it out, and add the honey while the infusion is warm, right? Just heat it a little bit. Now you can serve this uh, lemonade hot in the winter. Hot lemonade is so good. It's just so good for you. It's um, cold pre a cold prevention drink. But if you don't want to serve it hot, <laughs> I made the mistake one time. <laughs> one time I was making lemonade for a birthday party for an eight-year-old boy, and I didn't um, allow enough time for the infusion to cool down before his party started, and we didn't have any ice. So I served the lemonade warm, and he. <laughs> He was like, what's up with the warm lemonade? Why is the lemonade warm? He was just like, he didn't understand why the drink was warm, right? So if you don't want it warm, give it enough time to cool down or make sure you have enough ice, okay? So I've got the honey really nicely mixed in there. And I'm also gonna put in half a cup of lime juice. Now you can, um, you can juice your own limes if you like. You can just get, just go like this and you know, get yourself a little juicer and squeeze out your own fresh juice, which is really nice. Fresh juice is really good. And we're going for a half a cup. So, or you can, you know, I have this organic, um, already fresh squeezed lime juice. So I'll do a little bit of both so you don't have to watch me squeezing. Okay, so about a half a cup. All right, so we've got a half a cup of juice, fresh lime juice or uh, lime juice half a cup of honey, and that's a little bit more than two cups. That's okay, because that's, that's actually how I like it. <laughs> and again, you can go for your taste, whatever your taste is. If you like it really lemony or you like it really sweet, um, 
you know, do make it how you like it, of course. And then, of course, we're going to garnish. We can put a little bit of a little bit of this in there, and a little bit of floating, a little bit of floating limes we can put in there. And let's see. Here's our glass. Here are our glasses. I also love to garnish with fresh lavender, and so I have these beautiful fresh lavender flowers, and so I'm going to garnish this drink with the lavender. Okay, and that's really nice. Okay. So, now, this is a, this is a nice drink. Okay, some people are not going to like floating herb parts in their drink, okay? Just deal with that. I actually like, you know, I like having like little leaves and things like this in my drinks. Some people are like, uh, what's in my drink? <laughs> oh yeah, we're at Cammie's house. <laughs> so, you know, especially the lavender, some people will be like, whatever. So for those people or, you know, people, you can just strain it through here <laughs> and strain those things out. Or you can pour it in and let all the good stuff in. <laughs> Just depends on who you're serving to, okay? I love this drink. And, you know, so there you have it. There you have so many great ginger recipes to work with. It's, they're tried and true and time-tested. You know, again, I've been doing this for a really long time, and my goal is to really empower you to bring this into your everyday life and really enhance the wellness of the people that you love. And making good drinks is kind of like making good soup. You know, you got to know how to make a soup. Um, and you know how to, you got to know how to make a good meal and knowing how to make good drinks. Again, we've kind of fallen down with our drinks. You know, we, we, I know people, you know, it's, we eat really healthy, we eat organic, and then it's like we're on the go and we just grab things from the store, whatever there is to drink. And even the so-called healthy drinks at the store, they're just, they're, they're not that healthy. And so I really encourage you to just trying to get get the drink making into a habit in your home. So there you have ginger. Ginger, you know, how's the lemonade you make today? Oh, uh, no, why don't you try it and let me know. What do you think? <laughs>